the pandemic, it came in like, like a big blow. <laughs> uh, my name is Eni Bukwadebayo and uh, I started dry cleaning way back over 30 years ago. Um, as a young boy, I loved ironing and uh, my grandfather used to be a washerman. So 2000 to 2020 marked about my 20 years of official, you know, God-driven uh, promise to do dry cleaning. But cleaning actually is about 15 years old now, but I've, in total, I've been doing dry cleaning for over 31 years. My father started the business and I saw him do the whole thing. Uh, I saw him talking with the welders, the carpenters, the plumbers, the welders, how to install these, how to do that. He actually bought about 120 washing machines, the coin-operated ones you find in Europe, in Americas then, uh, and about um, 25 giant-sized tumble dryers. Um, when you see the candy you see the so that's one of the things we do. It's paramount for you to pray through on any matter. Life matters, career matters, um, marriage, marital matters, everything. You want to ensure that you are doing God's will. You want to ensure you are following God's purpose for your life because it actually makes it easier to succeed. Because that is exactly what you are created for. That is what you are, you are already gifted. To make, to make it happen. And we started. I started from picking clothes from house to house and from office to office and then um, wash at home, you know, and um, go back to deliver in the morning, pick other clothes, wash. Even the dry cleaning, I didn't have the equipment. The dry cleaning equipment then I would give to other dry cleaners to dry clean for me. And one after the other, we got the first shop in First Stack. From first shop, today we are counting over 20 stores that we have operated cleaners in. And from one staff, that um, worked with me then and today we can be talking even over over 200 people that have come into this business and added value in one way or the other so why when you ask me why did i do dry cleaning um i wanted to be a dry cleaning consultant i wanted to be somebody that i want to i want to i had the passion i have i still have that passion and drive to want to reorganize in fact, not to reorganize because it is not yet organized. So it is to organize the industry, the dry cleaning industry in Nigeria. And laundry is basically soap and water. Dry cleaning is using solvents, um, perchlorothelene, hydrocarbon, and they all not. Um, so how to care for your fabrics. And most garments today, um, like ready-made garments, will have care labels. So there are instructions given already. Do not wash in cold water, wash in this temperature of water, um, do not range or do not spin or dry flat. You know, there are instructions already stated. Um, I mean, you want to wash a bunch of clothes. First things you want to look at is you want to separate the colors. You want to check the kind of fabrics. Are they colors that um, the dyes could come off? And that means you have color run, damaging other. So you want to wash like colors together. I mean, well, and um, what temperature to iron? Do you iron inside out? Do you. Uh, or do you just steam press and don't really put the iron so that you don't get um, shines on them? Then when we're talking dry cleaning, dry cleaning is a little bit more techy. Um, you get the wools, the silk, viscose, um, all those special fabrics. Um, yes, those, most of those will go into dry cleaning. It's quite unfortunate because in Nigeria we have tailors and fashion designers everywhere. but. There is nobody, and this is one of the things the association will certainly do for us, is it will ensure that every designer puts a care label on their dresses. A lot of dry cleaners pay so much in trying to keep those garments, um, those garments for, for the owners, and they ruin them. Why? The, the tailor or the fashion designer or they, they never told anybody what is made of. I mean, but in the abroad, you'll find you want to make this kind of garment. You make like uh, samples. You could make about 50, 100 samples. You take it to a laboratory, like a textile laboratory, and they wash them with different 
chemicals, different temperatures, under different conditions. And they will come up to tell you which is the best that suits. They wash each garment like even a hundred times. You know, that. so if, and they can tell you, oh, we washed this in cold water for a hundred times and this is so. This we are sure can preserve. This was washed in warm water, it didn't do so good. So they will give you the recommend, their recommendations. Based on their recommendations, you go and manufacture your care label and you put on them. But unfortunately, here in Nigeria, here in Africa, and we love colors. And you can imagine, we put all sorts of colors on the, the same fabric and the next thing you find is color runs. It becomes so trickish for the dry cleaners and a lot of times the girl need. And then, uh, how much did the, maybe the dry cleaner charge? Maybe a thousand to clean that garment. And somebody's coming to charge, he says, I made it for 200,000, 350,000, you know. For a, for a shirt or for a blouse or a dress um, that we charge only a thousand naira to clean. So those are the, these are the challenges of the industry to say, hey, the tailors are not helping us, but there is nobody to talk to them. So these are the reasons why we really need the association. We need the dry cleaners to come together. And we, I mean, we talk to the, and, and the fashion designers, they have their own um, association as well. And on that level, we can actually share notes and um, correct one another and we can keep the investments that people have put in their, into their wardrobes.